Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make this super quick and easy crochet snood. The link to the free crochet pattern will be below in the description bar. And there's also a matching beanie that takes an hour to make, and I'll link that down below as well. You will need super chunky or 14 ply yarn, a 12mm crochet hook, some scissors and a darning needle. To begin, create a slip knot. Insert your crochet hook into the loop. We're going to chain 39, so to chain, yarn over and pull through a loop. Repeat this until you have 39 chains. Once you have 39 chains, slip stitch into the first chain to create a ring. Make sure your ring isn't twisted and it's nice and flat. So to slip stitch, insert your crochet hook into the chain, yarn over and pull through. To start round 1, chain 1. Throughout this pattern, chain 1 doesn't count as a stitch. So we're going to half double crochet into that first chain. To half double crochet, yarn over, insert your crochet hook into the chain, yarn over and pull up a loop. You should have three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all three loops. Half double crochet in each chain until the end of the round. You should have 39 stitches in total. At the end of the round, slip stitch into the first stitch to join. Turn your work. To begin round 2, chain 1. Normally when you insert your crochet hook into the stitch, you pick up two strands of yarn. The loop closest to you is the front loop, and the loop further away from you is the back loop. For this stitch, we are only going to pick up the back loop of yarn. So as per usual, we yarn over. We are going to insert our hook and only pick up the back loop of yarn. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through all three loops. And that's how you back loop half double crochet. Back loop half double crochet in each stitch until the end of the round. You should still have 39 stitches. Slip stitch into the first stitch to join and turn. We're going to repeat round 2 until the end of round 10. So to start the round, chain 1, back loop half double crochet in each stitch until the end of the round, slip stitch to join and turn. So we're now at the end of round 10, and after your slip stitch to join, fasten off. You fasten off by yarning over and pulling through. Cut your yarn and leave a tail of yarn so we can weave in your end. The best thing about this pattern is that since we worked in the round, you don't have to sew the ends together. And there you're finished, your quick and easy crochet scarf. 